What is your favorite part about new bot events, Sam? Mm, I would have to say it's the new bots. <laughs> The fun part about this event is we don't know anything about any of these bots. I mean, we do. We've talked to the builders. We've had conversations back in the pits, but all of these are brand new. Everything has to be brand new for this event. Oh, now we got the match everyone has been waiting for. There wow, we go. look, look at, at Sam's heat. excitement. Sam, play it cool. Positively <laughs> hysterical, that I think is definitely a stomp bot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with the one and only, the man with nine lives, Tom <laughs> Farkas. Hi, my name is Tom Farkas. I'm from Cooperstown, New York, and my bot is positively hysterical. The spirit of the January event is to bring new bots. I wanted to bring something silly and ridiculous. It sort of embodies having a fun time and maybe encourage more people to show up with something silly. It's more than just being competitive all the time. This is obviously the most destructive bot we have ever seen in the history of combat robotics. Can you tell us a little bit about the bot, the design ethos, and what it took to bring this monster machine here today? It is a five pound shuffler. It uses a servo for drive, a servo for steering, a servo for the weapon arm. The weapon arm is a handmade rubber stamper that I ink up before the fights. And the whole purpose of it is to just leave paw prints on everything that it touches. It just stomps around the arena and it's a lot of fun. It's very stompy, uh, very stampy. And look, there's the mouse bot coming into play. Good job, Ooh. Lindsay. Look at these aggressive stamps. So aggressive. You know, he does get a little bit of aggression points. He's obviously not doing any damage, but uh, right. Tom Farkas is here to have fun. I don't think anybody's having more fun than Tom Farkas at this competition right now. He's not here to break anybody's bot. He's here to be silly and have a good time. Just, it looks nice. It looks really nice. It's well put oh, together. Oh, no. Down. Positively hysterical doesn't seem to be moving the way it was before. I, you know, I think it's moving quite well considering what it, uh, you know, what it has going for it. Get a lot of, oh, look at the oh, humanity no. of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, yeah, that robot is no longer alive. Are we going to see Positively Hysterical again in the future? Yes, but next time I'm going to print it out of TPU because PLA does not handle hits very well at all, but it looked good doing it. The thing I love about Norwalk is that the rules really encourage creativity. As long as you're safe, you can kind of do whatever you want. I'm Andrew Nolan. I'm from Redmond, Washington, and my robot is NoobTube. There you see the youngest driver in our competition yes. on NoobTube. He is four and a half. Four Wait. and a half. What were you guys doing at four and a half? I was not uh, fighting with robots. I, I was. NoobTube works with just a big motor on each wheel. And when it spins these wheels, the whole body spins in the opposite direction. And so I have a big blade mounted on the tube and it is made of laser cut titanium. Hopefully I can hit the opponent with this big blade and there's a lot of energy behind it because my whole robot is spinning This right here is the inside of the robot. This is the battery. It is put on a uh, Shock absorber. I got a small radio in here a power switch here. The speed control is built into the motor This is my output bearing. This is the wheel. It's TPU is flexible to absorb shock and to avoid damage. This is my twin brother's idea. He's been running this in about 10 competitions in the plastic ant weight class. I came across this uh, plastic tube here that's UHMW and I thought I'm going to make it three pound metal. I recognize three, these guys already. Two, one. Fight. Robots fight. The Noob Tube is a family team. This is actually his first time competing at the three pound division. He's been fighting in the Antway class out in Seattle for a few years now. Wow, oh, a nice hit there from Noob Tube. Yeah, that was really nice. And a tap wow, out. Wow, a tap out. Now, Noob Tube is a really fun robot to me. That entire Absolutely. spinning disc it's is like a, It's like a, a paper towel holder. A very evil paper towel holder. A very yeah, evil it's... one. Wow, that is some big hits there. I've never seen a robot this shape with this much control. It has, it's been attempted before, and I think this is the best I've ever seen it pulled off. 10 seconds left with NoobTube and Joe here. I think one side of the drive on NoobTube might be suffering, and that's why it's spinning so erratically at this point. Oh, oh there we are. wow. Split decision. New tube did get a, uh, a vote, but Joe takes home the win. Joe makes it happen. You guys, you did a great job. New tube, you guys did fantastic too. Yeah, weird bot event. The new bot event is always where you see the strangest things. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Flaming oh. fart has.
guys use smokescreen, and it is super effective. So what kind of a weapon would you call that? The hugger. The hugger? Oh, Red nice big hit. Is propelled by a spinner. The oh no! Hot glue. It's going on. for a ride now. Yeah, that's that's not oh, surprising. Oh no! Oh no! This is a bot that can actually play music. Playing from a Bluetooth speaker. He said that he wanted to do something that he's really never seen done before. Love seeing the fact that this is a is a robot type that usually isn't used defensively. Usually isn't used as a primary robot. Yeah. And trying to make a debut here. With him. That is a lot of power. Look at it pushing. Listen to that away. engine. It's a solid brick of a bot. And now there are beans all over the floor. Pieces of silver beans everywhere. Two chicken, two huffin? Two chicken, two huffin. Yeah, Slamson. Two chicken, two huffin. Yeah, I love Craig Danby's face. I know. A, a chunk yeah, flies no. up and he goes, and yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, yep, it's exactly yep. what he was expecting <laughs> yeah, to happen in that moment. My name is Craig Danby. I'm originally from England, but I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. And this is Sir Clips. Sir Clips is the most dangerous robot at the new bot tournament here at NHRL. Billet body, AR-500 lifting arms, four-wheel drive, bring steel armor. This is a work of art. It is the Swiss watch of combat robots, and it can take on anything in the 30-pound division. The inside, I've got three EarPod batteries, about 100 milliamp hours each. So she's running on 12 volts, which means I'm overvolting all of my motors to get even more power more power than you could possibly imagine you could get into 150 grams. Bring your weirdness and, and do your funky stuff and uh, build 150s. I love when these things show up. This weird Same. nonsense shows up. It's so much fun. It's so in spirit with this competition. That, that is a normal off the shelf remote control car with a microwave on top of it. And I want to stress that that remote control car was not meant to carry a microwave. So this is spare parts. It's been built within the past about 36 hours. It's a $10 microwave we got at a thrift store, an old drill with a lawnmower blade welded in it, and then an RC car that we got about 11 last night at Walmart. We built it kind of just for the heck of it, kind of just to see what happens. No like real big reason why, just for the fun of it. Yeah, so we had a couple weird issues with it. We had the wheels constantly falling off. Oh, it's crunching. If you ever want to know what would happen if you put a household appliance in a combat robotics arena, you got a little taste of that today. So they are now filled with some spray adhesive that was donated to us. And then <laughs> we had to figure out why the weapon kept falling out. Abe is a really nasty kid. Oh, and there goes the lawnmower blade. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah. Oh, there goes the weapon blade on Look spare at that. parts. So it is now welded in. There you so go. It cannot fall out. So hopefully now it will be all intact and we'll be ready to grunge at eight. And, and I love this. Let me just grab this real quick. I've never seen this uh, used before in combat robotics. This is, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Wow. wow. It has made this bot nearly impenetrable. Other bots just glean right off of it. It's, it's spectacular to see. Let's send it on over to cage four. We've got a big rumble. We awesome. do. More rumbles, more fun. Let's do it. Fight, robots fight. Wow. Been spare promised parts. the weapon on spare parts will be slightly less likely to fly off. And you know what? It hasn't flown off yet. It's I'm pretty impressed. It's yeah. delivering. Oh, and it threw a mini bot just brutally across the arena. I believe the, the team behind spare parts earlier said that this is the anything goes rumble, and they are a thing, so they get to go in it. Yeah. Wow, this is quite the sight. I'm told that there is popcorn being popped with inside, within, within that robot. At this very moment. There's this, no way. There is no way, but I'm being told that anyway. Looks like it's making popcorn. It's certainly <laughs> shaking like it is. Let your bots fly, baby. Uh, actually, I think your popcorn might be done. 